Hey everyone, Graham here at Louder Than Life with Lejean from Seven Dust. Yes, sir. It's good Thank to be you here. Good so much. You. Thank you. Very appreciate you your time. Uh, always. Uh, I don't know if this has reached you yet, but our, our friend, our friend Chad Kruger from Nickelback, said something very nice about your band. You don't ever, ever, ever want to go after Seven Dust because they will kick your ass and wipe you all over that stage. They are a force to be reckoned with, and it is like goosebump worthy. There is so much power coming off that stage. It is, it is incredible. They're a juggernaut. Yes. Have you seen this? I love it, and I have not <laughs> been able to have time to get in touch with him uh, about that. Chad is a good friend of mine. I yes. love him. And what I would like to say, if he could see this or you could make sure he sees it, yes. take us out on tour. I've been talking to you about this for the last 10 years. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I just got a little hot yeah, my, my man, he, he does not want you I know, it to makes go me on mad. tour no, yes, with he, him. At this point, you can take us out on tour, man. Catering, I know it's great. We love you. <laughs> it's going to be the best tour ever. Let's do this, Chad. <laughs> no, I love you. You know what? I've always been a fan uh, and a friend and family with Nickelback, and for him to uh, to put that out there, yeah. it was so cool. And uh, I love him for for saying that and just being honest. You know, and whatever, you keep going after us. Nickelback is great; they hold their own. But it was so cool to see that. Yeah, yeah, very it was cool. very it was very kind of we. I really mean it. We want to go on tour with you. Right, let's go. Okay. I mean, if if they have the balls yeah, to bring oh, Seven oh, Dust oh, on well, tour, that's a real that's a compliment. That's a uh, yeah. What what an honor to to hear people say that because we only go up there and and give it our all, mm -hmm. just like I know everyone else does. But uh, thank you if you you know we just trying to rock it we ain't trying to break nobody's bones we're just trying to go up there and have a good time <laughs> that's cool well i feel like we should pay it forward a little bit so like uh in your opinion what's a band that you would never want to follow is there one no, out there definitely there's a lot it's like kiss i oh. mean i guess that's why we're going on before them i'm just kidding <laughs> you know, of course uh nothing more i feel like they're one of those kind of bands that uh i mean I, how do you follow when he's <laughs> all, all the way up in there he's singing beautifully and people are back flipping and stuff now you know there's a lot of bands that visually that it, it, I don't, I'm not afraid of going on after him, but you're just always like, ah, man, can we, are we going to, to be able to capture the crowd and the energy and that effect that they mm -hmm. did, if that makes any sense, because we're going to always go out there and rock it and try to capture him. But, yeah, sometimes you're like, dang, they had a few more bombs than we had, or <laughs> dang, he got fire, and we we got, like, some incense in the back. But, you know, so, <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes that might affect you, but we still go out there and rock it. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, a, a while ago there was some miscommunication about Seven Dust retiring. Seven Dust might go down the tube sometime. Well, eventually, yeah, all of us are going to retire, but I think that was not, taken. Not Mor soon, Morgan though. Rose was running his mouth and doing an interview, and uh, it got taken out of context. So we're definitely not finished at all. There's two. Thank there's goodness. Two, yeah, there's too much. I, I only got a few gray hairs. Let me get all the way gray, <laughs> and then we'll start talking about that. But no, no, we're, we're really we're fresh. Uh, just finished a new album uh, in the middle of. Uh, it's a lot of new things with a record deal and stuff, and I'm very excited about. And yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be cool. Let's talk about that. When's that thing gonna come out? Well, all I know is uh, we're talking about in the next year. Okay, 2023, yeah. most likely. Yes, can, sir. can we say de pretty definitively 2023? Or? Say, hopefully. Hopefully 2023. Yeah, we'll say hopefully. Yeah. You know, how, you know how things can go. We can, oh, shut, yeah, we can totally. shut everything down again. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Well, it's a very, very good point. <laughs> we pray not. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, what's what else is in store? Like, how far are you into? Have you recorded the yeah, thing? Yeah, we'll the album is being it? mixed right now, and. Uh, Four more days, and then I my birthday's October 3rd. I'll be in Nashville. We'll celebrate. Seven Dust Woo. takes off. Uh, we're taking a big break for a little while because we didn't finish. So, uh, Sounds speak, good. Yeah, be family, be daddy. You know, uh, I'll be at my kids' school more than they are, I feel like it. Uh, soccer, football, basketball, and volleyball. You know, just being dad. I love it. That's beautiful. Yeah, I guess when, when can they see you on tour? Uh, what's well, what's the stuff that uh, people need we're to in the know? Middle of, uh, the next only time that we'll be coming back out is probably uh, for New Year's. We'll do a couple mm. of specialty shows, and then we shut it down again. But until then, we'll see everybody. And I love you guys. Thank you for all the support, and thank you for taking the time to do this. And uh, yeah. we love you. 